Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Vaganian and Boteril that was played in Hastings in 1974. Vaganian had white pieces and he started with d4. Boteril played knight f6. And now, bishop to g5. Trompovsky attack. Black played g6 and Vaganian just captured the knight and doubled the pawns. e3. Bishop to g7. Knight to e2. b6. Knight to f4. d5. h4. h5. Perhaps to prevent h5 by white. c4. Pawn takes pawn. Bishop takes on c4. Bishop to b7. Knight to c3. Bishop to h6. Threatening bishop takes knight. Doubling the pawns. Another threat is after that bishop takes on g2. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Ready? What did you find? In the game, Waganian sacrificed the bishop on f7. Check. Would you play this too? King takes bishop. Queen to b3 check. King to e8. Knight takes pawn on g6 attacking the rook. Queen to d7. Knight takes rook. Queen to g7. Check. King to f8. Knight to d5. And black played knight to d7. Is bishop takes on d5 better? Then queen takes bishop attacking the rook. If then c6, what then? What would you do now? Queen to d8, checkmate. Perhaps then knight to c6. Then rook to c1 would be winning. Okay, so in this position we have knight to d7. Knight to e7 and black resigned couldn't find a solution in this position. For example, if queen takes knight on h8, then knight to g6, and after, say, king to g7, knight takes queen. What else? If queen takes on e7, well then, knight to g6 is winning. Perhaps the longest resistance in this position would offer king to e8, then knight from h to g6, and after say queen to f7, d5, queen takes queen, pawn takes queen. But in this position, black had enough and he resigned the game. Interesting, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.